Uh, we've got Nick. Hi, Nick. Oh, dear. Hiya, how are you? Oh, Nick, what is going on? You, you Go on, speak to Gina. What's your question? Hi, Nick. So, hi, Gina. I moved out six months ago. Since then, I've been cooking a lot more for myself. Um, and I've managed to give myself food poisoning three times in the last six months. Do you know okay. what it was from? What were you cooking with? Uh, it tends to, so I'm quite clean, so I know it's, everything's clean, but I tend to cook stuff and then eat it as leftovers over the next few days. Like, I'll cook four or five portions at a time. OK, this is a common problem that when people do big batches, they don't know how to uh, preserve the food. Now, yeah, so tip number on one, for, less, for argument's sake, that you made a beef stew, OK? So you make the beef stew, eat the portion that you have to eat. The problem that you're going to have is the way you're now going to preserve the uh, remaining leftover. Number one, never uh, preserve food in the, in the dish that you cooked it. This is a, a huge mistake that everybody do. So what's happened, even if it's cold, it's in the pan, what they do, they put the lid and they put it in the fridge. I didn't know that. Uh, absolutely not, because Why? there is metal, aluminium. We, uh, I know that plastic is not a good subject to use it now, but uh, a, a plastic kind of Tupperware boxes, that's the way to do it. Before any food that goes into the fridge, it needs to be, uh, bring it down to room temperature. Yeah. Never put hot food into the fridge. Do not reheat anything that has got rice in it and do, try to avoid to reheat seafood. That's where a lot of people, they will have the problem with food poison. And also, can you, have you got a freezer? Have you got much room in your freezer? Yeah, I've got a freezer, yeah. So do you ever think about freezing, maybe like leaving one portion for the next day and then freezing some of the, the stuff? Well, yeah. I, I guess I could freeze it, but then it's sort of defrosting and stuff but where I'm going to make it worse. You could just oh, take no, it out. No, 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 the freezer is a great way, actually, to stop all the bacteria. So you cool it down, you put in individual bags, yeah. your portion, put them in the freezer. When you defrost, that's the important part. Don't take it out to the freezer and leave it at room temperature, because the two temperatures, they're so opposite mm. that bacteria start to multiply. Defrost in the fridge. OK, oh. so take it out the night before, put it always a plate underneath because it's always a bit yeah. of water coming out. Defrost everything into the fridge. That's the safest way and, to do uh, it. And, Tom, okay. you said you were very clean, so this is, this is probably an obvious uh, point and question, but you are keeping cooked away from raw, aren't you? Yeah, always, yeah. Always. Yeah. OK, yeah. your chopping board is always clean? Yeah, yeah. OK, let me give you something very quick to disinfect your chopping board, OK? Uh, wooden board, what you do, you get salt, Put the salt on top like that. Get a fresh lemon. I wish I had one here, but get a fresh lemon. Cut okay. it in a half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a plastic lemon. <laughs> <laughs> I was get so hoping that was going to work. <laughs> get a fresh lemon. Cut it in a half, and then what you do, you rub the lemon and the salt uh, uh, into the chopping board. OK, because that's, you make sure that the chopping board does, <laughs> doesn't have soap on it and it's also it's fresh and you disinfect it. <coughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> yes? This is my funny name. This is a serious thing. <laughs> and you were doing so well. Good luck, well. Tom. Thank uh, you.